Hi everybody. Um, we haven't seen you guys in quite a bit, so today we're just going to kind of explain where we've been and give a little more explanation if you already know what has been going on. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, um, I've been posting about it quite a bit. Um, we did post a community post here on YouTube, but I'm not sure if people really um, read those. And um, basically, my brother Sam passed away. Um, he was 27, so it was obviously very unexpected. And um, a lot of people don't know I have uh, multiple brothers. People just think that Drew is my brother because he's on social media and we film with him. But I actually have four brothers and one sister. So... Um, I'll just go ahead and say their name. So I have an older brother named Brandon, he's 30. I have another brother named Jared, who is 27. And then Sam, who's 27. And um, Drew, obviously, who's my age. And then my sister, Jody, who is 28. So there is six of us. And um, God, that just made me like really sad because now it's not six. Sam passed away on the 26th, so we have not been posting, obviously, since then. Um, but we're ready to get back into the swing of things. Um, we have two pre-filmed videos that we're going to post next week. But we are going to take this weekend off. So, yeah, we'll post next week. Um, I'm going to explain what kind of happened to Sam. We're not really sure as of right now, the main cause, but we have some speculation what it could have been. Um, we have to wait six to eight weeks for the report to come back from his autopsy because of coronavirus. A lot of stuff has been pushed back, and I don't know if that's like the normal time frame that that takes, but we have to wait. Um, but I'll give you guys some background. So Sam, six years ago, had an AVM, which is basically like a cluster of veins on his brain that's not supposed to be there. Um, they believe he was born with it. And so six years ago, it ruptured and um, which caused a brain bleed. Um, and he was in the hospital for a very long time. Thankfully, he made it out um, from that, which was a miracle. And um, from that, We'll put up, I'll put up on the screen what it, like the definition of an AVM because honestly, I'm not 100% sure. I just know it's something on your brain that's not supposed to be there. So, um, and his was in a very unique place. It was like underneath his brain and not on the outside like they normally are. He made it out from that obviously brain bleed from six years ago. And luckily all he had that was different was he lost hearing in his ear, one of his ears, and then he his sight was messed up, so he couldn't play video games, which is not like... A necessity. Yeah, like detrimental. Um, but he, he got lucky, for sure. He had two surgeries since then. Um, his recent one was a year ago to try and shrink it. But like I said, his AVM was in such a unique place that it was very hard to get rid of it completely. This last surgery was supposed to be the, end of, the, the ending of it. They were supposed to get it all off and he should have been great. Um, but they touched a nerve, I guess, and it caused him to like freak out and to the point where they couldn't finish the surgery. So he still had a little bit left on his brain. So, um, like I said, we're not sure if that was the cause of it, um, but right now that is where our speculations are leading to, uh, because other than that, he was a healthy 27-year-old boy, you know, um, and it was just, it hit him fast, whatever it was. So, uh, that is all we know right now, and um, I can just give you guys a little background of the person Sam was. He was... Um, so kind and loving he would never leave like a family function or anywhere without giving you a hug and saying love you like the first thing he would do is give you a hug and give you a kiss on the cheek and a bunch of his friends thought that was really weird that he would be like love you bro and like give them a hug not just like a handshake or whatever 
Um, he was so like made sure that you knew that he loved you. And um, he was just always accepting of everybody. He loved dancing. Oh my gosh, he danced all the time. And uh, definitely the life of the party, 100%. Uh, he had an amazing smile, um, a funny laugh. Like, he's super funny, too. He was so funny. Um, and, yeah. I've already cried a lot. I know I'm not crying, but I've already cried so much the last two weeks that I wouldn't say we're cried out, but we're pretty cried out right now. Um, and... I would like to say that something that has kept us going for sure during all of this is that we're not alone. Um, a lot of you guys have been sharing your stories with me about like maybe your mom passed away or your sister or your brother, a close friend. And that has definitely given me a lot of comfort. And I just thank you guys so much for that. Um, and all the kind words my dad had been reading um, on my Instagram about like just all you guys saying, keeping you in our prayers and stuff. And that just really made him feel great that Sam is still making an impact on people and people are still knowing of Sam, you know, and that's like one of our biggest fear is like Sam being forgotten, which he obviously will not be forgotten in our family and definitely not to his fraternity brothers and everyone because he was that person. Like he was so amazing. Um, but anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. Sorry. I've been talking so much. I just haven't been in front of a camera in so long and I've been dying to talk to you guys. Um, so yeah, just thank you guys so much for the thoughts and prayers. Um, we appreciate it and we will continue to appreciate it. And, uh, I'm going to leave in some clips of Sam, just a heads up. He's very handsome. You guys are going to fall in love with him without even knowing him. And, um, yeah, I love you, Sam. And, uh, yeah, so that's where we've been and we'll be back soon. So I love you guys so much. Um, I know Steven loves you guys, by the way, he didn't talk cause he's here for emotional support and, um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys next week.